They feel so nice. Hey, what's up, y'all? I hope that you're having an awesome day or night or whatever it is. Uh, right now it is 10.50 on a Friday at night. So today we are actually doing kind of something a little bit different. Um, I missed out on my May Allure Beauty Box. So we are doing May and June. Shocking. So as always, I have already peeked and I looked in it to see what I had, what I could do. So that's why I have my brows on and some eyeshadow. Um, my brows are from this morning and they are looking bold. So I'm going to do a quick rundown of what was in the May box and what is in the June box. And we're going to start slapping more stuff on my face. So in the May Allure Beauty box, we got these two babies. These are from Wander Beauty and they are uh, Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. Um, and you do get two of them in your box and they have two pair, you know, one pair each in each bag. That makes sense. We also got this Kenra Dry Oil Control Spray. We also got this little bag and in here it's the L'Oreal L Net Satin Extra Strong Hold disappears at the stroke of a brush humidity resistant hairspray um i think it's kind of weird that we got two hair things in here i don't know uh i mean i think work it means more hairspray for me i guess i haven't bought hairspray in so long because of all of these little samples <laughs> Um, we also got this from St. Tropez. It is a one night only gloss. It's an instant high shine effect finishing gloss. Um, it says that you apply it onto clean dry skin. Remove by simply washing it with soap and water. Uh, it can be used on the face and over eyelids to enhance your look. The last thing in here that I'm really interested in is this from CLE or clay or whatever it's called and it is the melting lip powder and it is in the shade desert rose this is the same company that we got the moonlighter cushion open it up um, it is kind of messy because it is a powder in there Ooh. that is a pretty cut oh wow so it's def as soon as it touches my skin it turns like into a a cream so oh I also forgot sorry back up from uh, first aid beauty it is a coconut skin soothe priming moisturizer so we'll be using that today that is everything that was in the May Allure Beauty box and I will have the full size uh, prices listed down below in the description and then everything else that I'm going to be wearing on my face will also be down in the description box as well. So moving on to the June beauty box that Kat Von D, um, she teamed up with Allure and created this box for us. So the first thing that we got in our June box uh, is we got an everlasting lip liner in the shade Lolita but it is this shade right here. And then we also got a Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick, and it is in the shade Double Dare. So it is right here. We also got a little mini of the Tattoo Liner, and it is in the shade Trooper. And we also got this is from Ole Henriksen, and it is a Transforming Walnut Scrub. I have used this about two times. It has a really nice smell. Um, I... I am really liking this. I mean, I've only used it twice, but it hasn't done anything weird to my skin. It hasn't caused any irritation or anything. And that is a full-size product as well. So in the Kat Von D box, we did get the full size of the lip liner and the full size of this facial scrub. And the last thing that we got in the June box um, is this mirror. Oh, let's see. oh look, there's me. I'm sorry. Okay. So we got this little mirror right here, um, and it has her logo on the back. It's nice, um, but I wish that it had 
I wish that it had a cover because I know that I'm going to break this and I probably won't travel with it. So, thank you. But, no thank you. We're going to start putting some stuff on my face. Let's see, I am going to start off with the eye masks from Wander Beauty. And these would be really cool if you pop them like in the refrigerator or something. Oh, you know what? I was thinking these were going to be like the jelly kind of, what am I thinking of? Like the really rubbery looking ones, but these are like kind of papery. Ah, oh, they feel so nice. So the Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask Individually Packaged Gold Foiled Eye Mask to Brighten, Hydrate, and Reduce the Appearance of Dark Circles. Girl, I have those. I have those bad. I, I'm filming at 11.01 at night. I have eye bags. <laughs> Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and discard after use. Gently pat in the remaining serum into the skin. So gonna leave these on for 10 to 15 minutes and we will be right back. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes and we are going to take these off. And so as to rub in the remainder of the product. I'm going to eyes, they feel nice and hydrated. I don't know what it smells like. It doesn't smell like coconut. Now this isn't going to be like a wear test or anything like this because it is like 11.15 at night. And I'm not going to be staying up much longer after I film. So, this is just first impression. It does say priming moisturizer. My face doesn't feel very moisturized. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. But it feels like there's something on my skin and I don't know if I like that or not. Um, typically, I would apply like a pore filling primer like my Revlon Pore Reducer. Um, I am going to apply my foundation off camera, um, and I will be right back. So I look a little bit crazy right now. Um, I recently had gotten sunburn, and my sunburns always make me tan, so my foundation is way too light for me. I don't have anything, like, I don't have anything else. <laughs> Uh, I mean, actually, oh, you know what? I forgot. I do. I do. I have a darker Fit Me Dewy and Smooth that I just remembered that's in the very back of my foundation drawer, so I could have helped this, but I didn't. But I'm going to try something, and it possibly could completely ruin everything. I'm glad I'm not going anywhere. I want to try the St. Tropez one night only gloss this finishing gloss it says that you can use it on your face and your eyelids so i'm not using it on my eyelids but i'm wondering if i could bronze up my face a little bit with it um i squeeze some on my hand so it looks like it's really gel like it smells amazing so let's see what i can do <laughs> Maybe I'll try, like, right up here first. Okay, so that blended away to nothing. How about over here? Is that doing anything? Uh, oh, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Let's take some off. Dial it down. This is probably such a mistake. I probably should not be doing this. Oh no. So I'm just grabbing some of my Wet n Wild Mega Cushion to see what I can do about this. I don't think I can fix this. Don't use this on your makeup. I would use this if I had tan, flawless skin, and I was going to the beach, and I want to look a little shiny. That's whenever I would use this. I gotta go wash my face. I cannot do this. So here's the tea. 
Here's the real tea. Um, it's now 11.52 at night. Trying to get that off was a nightmare. My face, and my skin just hurts right now. So, I'm going to go to bed and we will pick this back up tomorrow. So it's a new day and I've moved on from that horrible experience from a couple days ago. Um, it was not fun. <laughs> so I put my primer back on that we got in the May box and I put on the rest of my makeup. Everything that I have on my face will be listed in the description down below. So, with that being said, um, we're just going to move on. Whenever I was curling my hair, I did use a little bit of the Kenra Dry Oil Control Spray. It makes your hair so gritty. Oh, and I'm going to fluff this up. This is not how I'm going to wear it. Um, I have not used the L'Oreal L Net. Maybe we'll spray a little bit in my hair once I get done fluffing it. Um, I was just letting my curls cool before I, you know tossed them around. I'm going to go ahead and just fluff up my hair so it looks a little better than what I got going on right now. So, um, and if you see any sort of white cast in my hair, yeah, that would be this Batiste dry shampoo. It is the floral and flirty blush. It's like straight powder flying out on my hair. Um, it's an awesome dry shampoo, but it, it, it's kind of bad. <laughs> so now I am going to do a wing with the Kat Von D tattoo liner in the shade Trooper. They're totally different, aren't they? Let's just keep making it bigger. Okay, so the more that I try to fix it, the worse that it gets. So I'm going to stop trying to fix it. I am going to apply my lashes and my mascara off screen. And I'll be right back and we'll finish up with the lips. So I am back and we have the lashes on. And I don't know what they are. Um... Honestly, I have no idea what brand they are, what style, I don't know. We are moving on to our lips. So, the only problem is we have three different lip products. So this is the Lip Liner in Lolita. This is the Kat Von D Studded Cream Lipstick in Double Dare. And this is the CLE or Clay, whatever it is. Um, melting Lip Powder, and this is in the shade Desert Rose. I don't think that the lip liner is going to look good with this. So I think I like it, but I don't know. Oh, oh, kind of my tongue. Oh. <laughs> I can't. I don't know what that is. I don't like it. Okay. So the color is pretty. Um, it's completely different from what is in the tube. Um, in the tube, it looks like a purpley kind of cranberry looking shade. On my lips. Mm, to me it looks like pumpkin spice. And uh, it's a little patchy like right here on my lower lip. And it was hard to get like a nice like shape around my lips, but my lips are really uneven, so that doesn't really help and I have to kind of like overline over here and overline over here just so they look kind of symmetrical. I honestly don't think that I would probably reach for it again though. And 
like, I don't know if you can see this patchiness, but like, right in here. Really patchy. I don't like it. Okay. So, now that that is done, I am going to remove this, and then we are going to apply these two products from the June box. They're super creamy. So just depending on what formula you like, if you like your lip liners a little stiffer, a little creamier, these are really creamy. Okay, so we are all done. Um, I love this lip combo. It applied beautifully. Those colors mixed together. Ugh, I love it. I, I love this combo so much. It's so pretty. Uh, it's just a really nice, easy, neutral kind of makeup look. You know, you have makeup on, you're enhanced, you look beautiful, but it's not too crazy. You know, it's a nice, neutral kind of combo. Okay, so all in all, um, for the month of May, I did, I liked my stuff. <laughs> um, the lip product, I mean, it's a cool concept. It was patchy. Um... And it was kind of hard for me to get a really good line. I mean, maybe if I pair it with, like, a really good lip liner with it, then I would like it a little bit more. I still don't know why we had two hairsprays in there. That's kind of weird. This was not my friend. I mean, I think it's just something that I'd have to work with and, like, wear it whenever I'm truly not wearing any makeup at all. This is not a product that I would recommend you putting on top of your makeup. Um, unless it was just like a little bit of concealer or something like I think this would be absolutely beautiful on someone with like a tan or like you know deeper skin tones wearing nothing on your face and you just put a little bit of on you know a little bit on there on your high points and your lids oh my god I think that'd be absolutely beautiful like beautiful <laughs> um, so I'm not a fan of it, but I think it could work for someone else. And all the stuff in my Kat Von D box, um, I did really enjoy it. My only little bugaboo about the June box that is with Kat Von D and Allure is this. This little mirror right here. I mean, it's cute, but I don't like that it does not have a top on it. I don't like that. Oh, and I also did forget to mention um, the coconut primer from First Aid Beauty. I don't like it. I'm not going to buy the full size product. I'm probably not even going to wear it again. I just didn't enjoy it. It did not feel moisturizing on my skin whatsoever. So if I am going to use like a more hydrating primer, I'm going to use this and it is from Maybelline. It's the Master Prime and it is the Hydrate and Smooth one. I have been in love with this since I picked it up. Um, I use this. Oh, where'd it go? I use this in conjunction with my uh, Revlon Pore Reducing Primer. These two are amazing. So what I did today was I used some of this uh, from First Aid Beauty and I used my pore filling primer. Now, whenever I did this, I only focused my pore filling primer on my area, you know, pore areas that I need to fill and this went everywhere else. They really did not make contact with each other, but this was starting to pill up and it was start it was starting to ball up and like I could just like get it right off my face and I don't like that. I'm not like this might sound weird. I'm not going to tolerate that with a primer. It's annoying. There's so many other primers out there that worked that work so well without pilling up like this. So this is a no-go for me. It might work for someone else. It was not moisturizing for me. Um, I just didn't enjoy it at all. So, with that being said, oh my god, you know what I didn't do? I'll show you what I didn't do. I didn't highlight. That makes me really sad. So I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.